And here we have the brand new Fire TV update finally delivered on my Fire Stick. Now, lots of you have been asking, when is this update coming? Is there anything we can do to actually force our device to get this update earlier? And I've been trying lots of different things and I do believe I've done something which has allowed my device to get this update. And to be honest, guys, I've looked all over Reddit, all over XDA, and I don't know a single person who's actually received this update until today. So in this video today, let me take you through this new interface. I'll show you what the new home screen looks like. We'll look at some of those new features like the library integration, like the profiles, and how some of these third party applications will now integrate to the home screen. And I'll also answer some of those important questions like, can we still side load applications on this new launcher? Can we still use a custom launcher? And of course, what we can do on our device to speed up the update process. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the new Fire Stick Lite and I do believe that the Fire Stick Lite and some of the new Fire Sticks that were released recently will be the first ones receiving this update. After that, it will then filter onto the Fire TV Cube and then finally onto the 4K Fire Stick. So my device has just received the update and this is the first thing I see when the device restarts. So let's click on OK. And there we have it guys. So not much in terms of setup process. We are already inside the new Fire TV interface. So at the very top we see the sponsored section. So this will show you sponsored content from Prime Video, from Disney Plus, and even from some applications. If I press left once, and this is your library. So this is where you'll track your watch list, your playlist, any content that you purchased on your Fire Stick will appear in your library. And to the left of that, we have the new profile section. So now I didn't just create this profile now, so it looks like if you already have profiles on Prime Video, they'll be automatically migrated to this new interface. So for a test, let's click on add a profile. All right, so let's just enter in a name and let's just call this one something completely original. How about TDUK? And let's click on next. And let's choose an icon. <laughs> and let's go for this ninja over here. Let's click on that. Click on OK. So each profile will have its own viewing history, recommendations, recommended applications, customized apps, live TV preferences, and of course settings. So let's go back into the profile again. Let's now actually click on TD UK. So this is now basically me logging on as that custom profile for the first time. So let's now press the back button. And here we can just confirm with the logo that I'm the current profile that's active. Now all of the customizations, all of the recommendations will be tailored for me. And of course, the more that you use your device or the services, it will allow it to tailor those recommendations and build a more accurate profile just for you. Okay, so that was the library. Let's go to home. Now if I press down here, so here we see the popular films. So this is kind of like what we had before. Here we have some uh, matches. Here's some featured applications. Uh, some prime recommendations, uh, top free games, recommended apps. Let's go to the right. So this is going to be like a universal search where you can search for your movies, TV shows, even applications all from a single screen. So uh, let's click on search Mandalorian. Let's see if that finds anything that does. And it tells me that this is available. If I click on that, I have to watch it with the Disney plus application. So that's the universal search. Let's back out of that. And of course, if you don't want to use the search, I can press back again. And we now actually have tiles for the different things you may want to go into. So if I go to children and family, and I can then see all of the different content from that particular category. Okay, that's working great. Let's back out of that. So that's fine. And here we see shortcuts to six applications, which are fully customizable. So I can actually change these around and change it for which other applications that I may use more frequently. As you can just see, guys, as I highlight any of these applications, we get to see the app peak feature, which means if I highlight something, it shows me content from that particular application. So here's some of the stuff on the ITV hub. Uh, here's some stuff on Prime Video, for example. And if I click on the three dots, and here I see all of my applications. So let's say, for example, I want to uh, move uh, Disney Plus to the top. So if I press the context key on that, which is the one with the three lines, I can now click on move. Let's move that uh, over there. Let's move that over there. 
And let's also move up uh, internet, which is the Silk browser. So press the context key on that, select move, bring that to the top. Now when I press the back button, we can see those six shortcuts have now been updated to include Disney Plus and also the Silk browser. Let's go back into the three lines. And I also have all applications because you notice here, you're not seeing any of my third party or my side loaded applications. So I'm guessing when I click on all your apps, we should go back to the familiar application screen. Okay, so here's all of the applications on my device. Some of these obviously are third party all the stuff in here. Now, if I go to not installed, and this will now look at your Amazon account. So if you do have multiple Fire Sticks or multiple Amazon devices, if you have any applications that you've installed on those devices that are not on here, you'll be able to see them in this list. And the last thing we have here is a setting. So as you can see here, guys, we now have direct access to the settings from this screen. So uh, for example, let's just go over to uh, My Fire TV. I just want to confirm the exact version I have on my device. And we can see that the color scheme has changed to a gradient of gray, whereas before it was just all black. Uh, let's click on about. And there we just see it, guys. So my device is running Fire OS 722.8. And this has the latest version. And we also see the Fire TV home version there. So it does seem a lot easier to access all of the settings when they're laid out in a tile fashion like this compared to what we had before. We also have the live TV section here. So if I scroll down, here we can see the live channel guide. Let's click on that. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so um, looks very nice. Certainly looks a lot more polished than the old Fire TV interface, which looks very boring now. Um, performance wise, it seems about the same. Nothing particularly slow or particularly faster compared to before. And I'm doing this on the Fire Stick Lite. Uh, in fact, let me press the home key, long press. And do we still get the shortcut menu there? Okay, so we get extra menu now, guys. We get the profile menu, so I can quickly change profiles. And here we get the standard options that we saw before. And let's go back to applications. So first important question, can we still side load applications with this new Amazon Fire Stick update? Well, the easiest way we can test that is let's go over to Downloader. And let's just go to a random site. How about TD UK? Let's click on Go. Uh, let's go to my website over here. Let's click on the hamburger menu, uh, Tutorials. And let's try this application over here. And let's click on this link. Scroll down again and click on the green download button. And is that going to work? Let's give that a second. Yes, it is. So we can confirm that we can download third party applications from websites, from file link, from other sources. I can click on install and click on open. And that's working absolutely fine. Okay, let's back out of that. So the next key question with this new Amazon update, can we still use custom launchers? Well, if we start the TD UK launcher manager, let's now click on disable stock launcher. Let's now press the home key. Does that take us back to, yes, it does guys. So if you are somebody that likes to use a custom launcher with your custom backgrounds, custom layouts, custom sections, and even widgets, then rest assured, even with the latest update, you can still run a custom launcher on your Amazon device. Just make sure you've got the latest version of the TD UK launcher manager and the latest version of Wolf, both which are on my website. Let's back out of that. And now the key question, how did I get the latest version of this Amazon update on my Fire Stick Lite? Well, I won't say it's a scientific method, but if I just take you back to the stock launcher, let's press the home key. What I did on my device was if I go over to uh, settings, or if you go over to your settings, here normally where you just press check for updates, it checks your device and you don't get an update. Oh, actually, there's another update now. I mean, really, they are pushing out these updates thick and fast. Now, the way I got this update on my device was I kept on restarting it. And the way you restart your device is you hold down the play and select buttons together. Let me do that now. So let's hold it down for uh, five seconds. 
Uh, is that going to work? Yes, it is. So what I suspect is when your device first starts up, that's when it does a proper check to see if there is an update. Whereas if the device has already been running, then just clicking on check for updates didn't really seem to work for me, guys. But it does seem like doing a full restart a couple of times seems to force the update process to work, or it did in my case. But that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know so many of you are waiting for this update, which is why I really did try and find any possible way or any way I can actually get the update on my device so you guys can experience it firsthand. And if any of you guys are still with me, if you leave the comment below that fire sticks are hot, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate, and I will heart that comment. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.